Hey guys, this is Dave with Hillside Farms, and last time I did a video, um, I explained to you how my hydroponic system works, and now I want to kind of explain to you a little bit about how I built it and put it together. I spent months and months and months on researching and asking questions and looking at different YouTube videos and doing my research and figuring out what worked for other people and what didn't, and uh, I there was no like super comprehensive um, video on how to build a large hydroponic system. So now that I created my own, I wanted to share it with everybody so that way they can make their own. So how big exactly is the system? Well, it's um, it's going to have about three to 4,000 of these holes right here, like that, that I'll be able to put these plugs in, like this. And I'm going to be growing uh, bok choy, arugula, uh, head lettuce, salad greens, top soy, spinach, celery, bok choy. Did I, did I say bok choy? Uh, bok choy. Uh, my kids call it bok bok choy. And how much can it produce? It should be able to produce about 900 heads of lettuce a week if I did it only in heads. And that would equate to about two to 300 pounds of salad green per week. So I'm super excited to share this with you. Um, one note before I, uh, I get started, I wanted to tell you why I'm doing this. Sorry, my wife keeps texting me while I'm on my phone, um, trying to do this video. So, uh, why why am I doing this? Um, I'm going to touch more on this later, but the fact of the matter is, during the year I lost thousands of dollars of greens, of, of salad greens, of head lettuce, growing them in the ground with lots of organic material, uh, growing them organically, putting copper down, putting uh, neem oil, and any anything you could imagine that's organic. I, you know, I, I tried it and nothing worked. I learned that hydroponics, you didn't have to deal with a lot of that stuff. And so I, I made a system. Um, my wife didn't want me to. I hid it from her. <laughs> I did this covert hydroponic operation uh, down at the bottom of my field. And uh, and I kind of hinted a couple times. I'm like, hey, I want to do this hydroponics. And she's like, who wants to eat hydroponics? Anyway, she so I got the system started and... Uh, and I planted some plugs in it, and she walks she walks down to the bottom of the field one day, and she's like, "What's the, what is that?" <laughs> um, so she's so uh, she's like, "It works." Uh, she saw this beautiful lettuce greens. I mean, they were they were like this, eh, but bigger. And uh, she's like, she's like, "Now I want everything in hydroponics." <laughs> so um, so anyway, that's why I got started. So now I'm so excited to share with you about how you can have all the benefits that I will share with you later about that, that come with hydroponics. Okay, so the first thing I would recommend to do would be to put down something on the ground. I use landscape fabric that I bought from uh, greenhousemegastore.com. All right, so the next thing that I did was I built a frame out of two by fours and I cut this, this leg at 33 inches, this leg at 28 inches, I cut a three degree um, angle on this and then that and I use these pocket holes and I put a screw in there. I'll show you how that works in just a second. Okay, so this is how I made those joints. This is called the Craig Chig. I absolutely love using this. I, um, I use this to pretty much do all of my woodworking and um, I even used it a little bit on the greenhouse. I used it on my system build as you saw. Um, I am going to be doing a video on how to use this. It's going to be very brief, very short, um, maybe a two-minute video. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to just share this with you guys because I think that this system is incredible. If you like the DIY, I would strongly recommend that you get one of these because it's well worth the money. I installed a 3,100-gallon uh, per hour pump in my reservoir, and that's like 50 gallons a minute. That's, that's a lot of water. It's sitting inside of a filter bag, and um, it comes up through this inch and a half pipe right here, right there, and comes around here. And I know I'm sorry, it looks like I killed Papa Smurf in here, but uh, yeah, just just don't get purple primer. Anyway, it goes down here, goes down through the ground, comes over, comes up, and then runs along here. Okay, and then I installed this T right here, and this T has a three-quarter inch, um, three-quarter inch T on it, and it runs up through this through this valve, and then it T's again right here, 
and then it runs 10 feet this way and then 10 feet that way and I use this valve to regulate the, the, uh, the water pressure in there okay these are quarter inch top hat grommets I drilled a 3 8 inch hole in this pipe using an auger bit and then I ran this quarter inch line off of it and then that goes into there I have about half a quart per minute running through that, through all of them. Alright, so continuing on with the plumbing system. It runs up, and then it runs down under the ground there, back over, up, and then I'm going to connect this side to the plumbing system, to that uh, 3100 gallon per hour pump too. All of them have valves, um, because you want to be able to turn down the, turn down the pressure. If it's too much, you'll see it, it'll be leaking up this way. Okay? Right, so the, um, that inch and a half pipe runs down here, that trunk line, and it comes to this, another T that has a three quarter inch T on it. And uh, this three quarter inch line runs out to a valve. And then it runs, let's go on this side, runs down that way, and you see the water dripping out. I'll show you what that does in a second. So I drilled these inch and an, inch and an eighth holes in the bottom of that. And uh, let me go ahead and cut the pump on and I'll show you what that does. Okay, so you saw how that worked. That, um, the excess pressure from the pump went, went out through those holes and then it, it caused um, a bunch of air bubbles, a bunch of turbidity in that water. And that adds oxygen to the water. The plants really love that. It helps prevent uh, root rot. So let's go on to the drain system. And uh, this part I'm really excited about. So in here, the pump's not on right now, but so it'll create a whirlpool effect in there, and that'll actually draw in more oxygen, more air into the into the water. Okay, so what this is, it is a six inch reducer down to four inch, and then I put on another four inch to two inch reducer, and then I ran it out through this two inch drain line, and it goes there. It does go uphill a little bit, but it's it's draining fine. And then and then I had to put down a uh, a 90 degree elbow down in there because it was installed these gutters, and uh, they're 10 foot long each. And uh, I have three of them on this side. I'm gonna end up putting in a couple more. Uh, but anyway, this uh, right there where it connects, where the two gutters join, I overlap them four inches, and I install this um, this thing. It's called a joiner. And uh, basically what that does is this sits in there and then this comes up underneath it like that. And you'll have uh, your one length of gutter underneath that and then this one will overlap it and then you'll use this, you'll put this at the joint where they connect. There's videos on this. Um, you can you can find them. I'm not the best at doing it, so you would probably just get frustrated watching me try to get this thing together. All right. So these these channels, they're Crop King channels. They're eight foot uh, long each, and they have these one inch holes, and uh, they're they're spaced eight inches apart. And uh, the beauty about this system is you don't have to use net cups. Uh, you just drop them right in there, and um, that's that's all there is to it. It's super easy. Alright guys, I hope you found uh, that video interesting and that you learned something from it. Um, sorry it's a bit short, but at the end of the day, you're going to find um, different deals on channels. You're going to find different pumps. You're going to use different materials. And so this is just meant to be like a basic rundown of, of everything and a, and a really good overview. My camera's getting foggy there. There we go. Um, but anyway, if you do have any questions, any specifics, I'd love to answer it or maybe even do a video on it. Um, and I dare you to be the first one to comment on this video. And uh, please, please, please like and subscribe and support me. Help me to teach you how to be more sustainable, how to use, how to do hydroponics, and um, all the other stuff that's uh, coming your way. Thanks.